Hi everybody, I hope that you are great and today we want to cover unit 4 of 504. I hope that you have studied the first, second and third unit of 504 and so let's go for the first word. Before starting the unit, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell then you are the first that received the next movie. So the first word is vapor, as you know vapor is a noun and I want to tell you something that if you look at the screen you see uh, vapor is with O and vapor with O and U. So the first one you see is American English and the second one is British English. And I want to tell you another example like humor and you know the writing is different in American and British English. So vapor means very small and tiny drops of liquid. And these tiny, tiny and small drops are floating in the air and mostly it is caused because of heat. If you look at the screen, we have three or four synonyms for it. Moisture, fog, mist and steam. So we have some examples here. And the first example is when water evaporates, it produces vapor. It is clear, for example, when it is hot when the water is heated the temperature goes high and it vapors and the next example is the fog was made of wet and almost smoke like vapor i think it is clear a cloud is a mass of vapor in the sky mm -hmm. we have a lot of vapors and they they are gathered together somewhere and they create a cloud and the next example is it was cold and everyone breathed clouds of vapor and the next example, she could see the vapor from her breath. I, I know that everybody have seen that when, when it is cold, we are breathing out and we can see the vapor is coming out of our mouth. The droplets on the lid were from the vapor. Hmm. I think this, this one is totally tangible for everybody because if you go to the kitchen and if you see the, the pot or the frying pan, when the lid is on, and the water evaporates, we can see the droplets on the lid, that's it. Heavy vapor is slightly heavier than air, so it hovers close to the ground. Slightly, it means a bit, and hover, it means to stay in one place in the air. So that is a good example. Uh, you can see fog is mostly close to the ground, it, it hovers. So if you look at the fog, it is stable somewhere, and it is close to the ground. For example, when we are driving, we cannot see the, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 meters away from us. So I, I tried to write many examples for this word or maybe for the upcoming words. I want to make every word clear by just writing many different examples and show you how we can use these words. As you can see, I have changed the, the font of the new words and I think it is clear for you to recognize. As you can see, word family is there. Vaporize is a verb. It means to change into a vapor and it means tabkhir shodan or bukhar shodan. And evaporate is also a verb and it means change into gas. Evaporation is noun. And I think these words are clear to you because you have started maybe in your chemi. So the next word, no, word number two is eliminate. Eliminate is a verb and it means to completely get rid of something. Or we have two synonyms for it, is remove or omit. As you can see, I have written the pronunciation of completely for you to make it more easier to you. As you can see, I have written a lot of collocation with eliminate and I have gathered a lot of collocation from different texts and I'm pretty sure that it helps you a lot. And for example, eliminate a need or eliminate a possibility or eliminate a risk, a problem or a danger, eliminate peril, eliminate an error, eliminate uncertainties, corruptions, Eliminate death, or you can eliminate eye exhaustion, harmful radiation, or eliminate budget deficit. Or you can use other examples. So examples, MFA, it stands for multi-factor authentication. It means that it needs a second confirmation. 
For example, your bank account, when you want to transfer money to another person, then you receive one SMS and you need to confirm it. And another usage of MFA is in Yahoo Mail or in Gmail. When you want to log in, you receive an SMS and you need to write the code as well as your password. So MFA can help us eliminate any possibility of theft and corruption. As you can see, there is possibility of it is a collocation. And the second example, a state of the art cards could completely or totally eliminate the possibility of accidents. As you can see, there is another collocation completely or totally eliminate. There's a good collocation. The second meaning of eliminate, it is a structure. Eliminate somebody or something from something. And example, fatty foods should be eliminated from the diet. As you can see, the structure and the meaning is clear in this example. It means that you need to get rid of the fatty foods or eliminate them or delete them from your diet. And the second example is we have plans to eliminate poverty from our society. Uh, I, th I hope that you know the meaning of poverty. Poverty means hunger or a situation that a lot of people are poor. The third meaning is to defeat a team or a person. Mostly it is in competitions or to knock out a person. And one example, Muhammad Ali Clay was able to eliminate the rivals in the first round. I think Muhammad Ali Clay is a famous man in the world and everybody knows him. And the third meaning is to kill someone. And as you can see in the example, mostly a dictator eliminates all his rivals. Mm -hmm. That is true somehow. So, and the word family elimination. Elimination is a noun. And the next word is villain. Villain is a noun and it has two meanings. The, main, the first meaning is the main bad character in a film or a play or in a story or maybe in a novel or somewhere else. And this main character is notorious. Notorious is opposite of famous. And the second meaning is a bad person or a criminal, a very wicked person. As you can see, I've written the pronunciation of wicked, blow it. Uh, because I know some students pronounce it wicked and it is wrong. And examples. The villain made no scruple of committing crime. Uh, I like this example. A scruple is calm, calm of conscience. And it means that this man, this villain, just committing a lot of murders and just not thinking about it. And it means Azabe was done. And you can see there, there is another collocation here, commit murder. Commit is a good word, first of all. It means to do, but for murder, we use commit murder, commit a crime or commit a suicide. And the second meaning is he's a villain, but he has some virtue. Mm, what a villain. He has virtue. That's a good type of villain. The third one, Readers are left to judge for themselves whether the king is hero or a villain. Mm. If it is a movie and you haven't understood it so far, so it is better to watch it again because it is an open-ended movie. So now word family. Villainous is adjective and there is one example for it. I heard a villainous laugh or villainous laughters. And villainy is noun, evil or a criminal behavior. We will never give in to villainy. That is a good structure. And the next word, number four, is dense. Dense is adjective. It means very close together or thick. Like trees, mountains, jungle, I don't know, leaves, bush, whatever that can be possible. As you can see, I've written a lot of collocation with dense and I hope that it can help you better. Dense undergrowth or there's dense forest or forest both of them are right dense woodland dense jungle dense bush dense population uh, that is something that i have seen it a lot dense vegetation vegetation means generally plants dense foliage it means the leaves of a plant and etc and you can see these were all nouns and we have a dense 
network of something. For example, a dense network of rails or a dense network of bridges. A dense covering of something. And now the example, the corpse was found hidden in dense undergrowth. You know undergrowth, it means the bushes close to the trees. You know the reason that I am writing a lot of collocations there is that I want you to know that how you can beautify your English, how you can empower your English language. The second meaning for dense is difficult to see through or breathe in. And we have some collocation for it, for example, dense fog, dense smoke, or dense cloud. And examples, traffic is slowed down because of the dense fog. It is clear because when, it is, when we have fog and it is dense, we cannot see through it and we cannot drive fast. And the next example is, I drove on and on through the dense and blowing snow. You did a good job. The third meaning for dense is stupid. I don't know, we use it not too much, but I wanted to write it there because maybe you hear it once somewhere and you're not confused. And one example, we have got some really dense people in our class. And the next word, number five, is utilize. Utilize is a verb. It means to use or to make use of something. And example, we must utilize all available resources. The word family utilizable is adjective and utilization is a noun. And the next word is word number six. It is humid and it is adjective. It means very wet and usually hot air. And the synonym for it is moist and damp. The north of Iran in Shomal, you know, it is mostly humid. And in the south of Iran, in Bandar Abbas, it is also mostly humid too. You know, they have kind of humid climate. I have written a lot of collocations and they are most frequently used ones. Humid air, humid climate, for example, humid weather. You can write humid atmosphere or you can use a season, humid summer, for example. Or you can write day, humid day or a humid midday or a humid afternoon, humid area, humid regions, humid jungle, humid tropical forest, humid coastal city, or humid environments, and a lot of other words. And let's look at the examples. It was a hot, humid summer day. If the appliance is humid or wet, unplug it immediately. And the word family, humidity, is noun. Let's go to the next word, and next word is theory. It is noun and the singular and the plural form of theories. It means an idea or a set of ideas, and it is mostly not proved. And there are some structures, for example, theory about or theory on, theory of, and theory that. For example, for theory of, Darwin's theory of evolution of human. It is kind of a structure. I want to let you know that you can use the theory in these forms too. And the examples, it was a theory unsupported by evidence. It unsupported is antonym of supported. It means that the theory has got no evidence. And the next example is what are the reasons for his rejection of the theory? Rejection, it means that the theory is denied and rejection means denial or disapproval and the second meaning is general principles and ideas about a subject you know it is it is mostly general and look at these collocations uh, political theory economic theory literary theory or agricultural theory and whatever an example my father's theory of life had a lot of influence on me Maybe my father had a special theory and it worked. And the third one is a kind of a structure in theory and the opposite is in practice. An example, it seems good in theory, but it doesn't work in practice. Maybe it works when you're talking, but when it comes to action, it doesn't work there. And I'm pretty sure that it helps you. I have written a lot of verb collocation with theory. For example, come up with a theory or develop a theory. Test a theory, prove 
or support or disapprove, disprove or refute a theory, discredit a theory. These are the most verbs that are used with theory. And I've got also a lot of adjective collocations like a scientific theory, economic theory, conspiracy theory, or a pet theory. And the next word, word number eight is descent, and it is a verb. It means to go down or come down. It means like coming from higher altitude to a lower altitude. For example, descent ladder, stairs, staircase, or etc. And example is the plane began to descend. It means that the plane was landing. And the second meaning of descent is to feel. Example, he descended a sudden fear. He felt a sudden fear. And the third meaning is descend to something. You know, it is a phrasal verb. Actually, I like this verb. And the, example is, the examples are, if a prison is badly treated, he may descend to violence. I never descend to such a meanness. As you can see, it means to tandar dadan be cheesy, dasadan be cheesy, and I like it. And the fourth meaning of descend is, it is kind of a structure, descend to somebody's level. And it is beautiful too. Example, if you insult him back, you descend to his level. It means that you are acting or behaving like somebody else. I can say it is always negative and maybe somebody is just insulting or doing bad actions or, or somebody has a kind of wrong behavior and it means that you shouldn't treat like him. You shouldn't behave like him. And the word number nine is circulate. Circulate is a verb. It means to move around or to make move, move around. For example, leave a gap at the top and bottom so air can circulate. It means air can move from one place to another place. And word family for this word is circulation. It is a noun. For example, sports improves the circulation of blood. So when you're doing some sport and the circulation of blood is faster and easier. And it is good for health. And the second meaning for circulate is to spread. To spread information, facts, ideas, rumor, or gossip. For example, people who circulate false news are to be blamed. People are just spreading false news. And the third meaning of circulate is to talk to a lot of different people. And it, it is mostly in parties, in festivals, or in gatherings, in exhibitions. Example, I must circulate among the guests and tell them about my new experience. It means that you are going from one guest to another and talk to them. And the next word, word number 10 is enormous. It is adjective. It means very big in size or very big in amount. I have some uh, synonym for it. Huge, massive, gigantic or colossal. And examples, teaching has brought me enormous enjoyment. It means that I like teaching, for example, and teaching brought me big amount of enjoyment. And the next example, he had enormous charm and a great sense of humor. And the next example, companies make enormous demands on workers who speak fluent English. That is really true. And mostly it is for international companies. Word family, enormously is adverb. For example, I am enormously grateful to your help. It means that I, I thank you a lot. And the word number 11 is predict. Predict is a verb. It means to say beforehand and we have some synonym for it. For example, forecast, foretell, foresee, prognosticate, and speculate. And we have some collocations here. Impossible or possible to predict. It is difficult to predict. It is hard to predict. It is easy to predict. I have another two structures for you. Uh, possible to accurately predict the family. You know, it is adjective plus adverb plus predict. Possible to accurately predict. And the other is the same, but adverb is at the end of the sentence. For example, possible to predict the future accurately. And examples, 
it is too early to predict the outcome of the meeting. Early to predict. You know, outcome is the result. And the second example is, they have predicted the cancer will be eradicated from the face of the earth in 10 years. What a nice prediction. I hope it comes true. And the third example is, it is impossible to predict what will happen or when it happens or how it happens. You can use, you can use what, when, how, after predict too. And the last word is vanish. Vanish is a verb and it means to disappear suddenly or disappear without suddenly. I don't know, disappear alone, a bear disappear. And examples, how can an entire house vanish without a trace? Vanish without a trace, it means that it disappears suddenly, out of a blue. Out of blue means suddenly too. The second example is during peak demand, discounts can vanish. And the third example is all doubts vanish soon. And the last one is the dragon vanished into thin air. Into thin air, it is a good structure too. And now these two words are finished and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to write your own sentences, your own examples and your own story and write in the comments. And if you like the movie, don't forget to share with your classmates, with your friends, and they can enjoy it too.